Hey, well, as you know, we're pretty well camping out now, uh, now that Nana's house has gone and we are uh, without a dining room. We've been eating with Nana, but she's in her room now. We cooked. And our diet has changed drastically. If you look now at this, we're sweet potato. Uh, this is squash. Squash. And so normally we we go in and we buy by the kilo fresh uh, prepared, washed and prepared uh, mixed vegetables at the uh, Alturas. But uh, we didn't have time to do that today, so we bought some some veggies on the way home and Beth cooked these up and this is really delicious what we've done is we add we add a, a can of, of tuna and so that's rich in protein uh, we actually do feel much much better since we've been eating this diet and uh, and we hope now that those who <laughs> hope in vain I think probably but uh, the people that keep saying to, to Beth uh, just because they've seen one video of of me trying to eat those snotty snails, um, I'm, which I'm not going to do, uh, and people keep assuming that that we are freeze frozen, uh, frame frozen into that one scene where all I do all the time is eat or try not to eat those snotty snails. This is this is pretty much our diet now. Is full on vegetables and a little uh, tuna or uh, sardines which I, I don't have any uh, objection to sardines I actually like them uh, must be my poor man's taste but this you can see the big pieces of tuna here and as I said this is sweet potato and where's the well I've been eating this for a while and then it occurred to me that we should actually uh, probably make a video showing what diet we're on right now. Until we get a kitchen of our own, which is on the way, then we're going to be eating like this. And then later we might actually, we'll probably will go over onto the juicer, which is fast and convenient. And, and you can eat as much as you like, or drink as much as you like, and it's very, very healthy. When I was on the juicer before, boy, that and working out, I really did feel that that was the healthiest that I'd ever been. So, I'll continue my meal now, and thanks for looking in. This is our our diet right now, is pretty much it. But, just in, in line, there's one, uh, there's a, a man called Bass. I think it's, I'm not quite sure, I think it's Arnold Bass, but I, I'm really not sure about that. B-A-S-S. -S. Bass wrote a book called Ripped, and he wrote another one called Ripped 2. These are incredible books on eating healthy, but they're eating healthy from a bodybuilder's uh, viewpoint, and and he, he actually had only two and a half percent body fat. Now that's pretty incredible for anybody because normally we're up in the 10 or 15 or for women later in life and men up to maybe 20 or 30 percent body fat. So all of that body fat has to be carried and it's not uh, it's not really doing you any good. So have a look at Bass's books Ripped and Ripped 2 because they're really excellent. He was a skinny, skinny guy, not skinny like me, because he was well muscled, and he was not, he was not um, a young, uh, a teenager. So he uh, did incredibly well. Uh, was ma well muscled, in beautiful shape, but not a huge guy. He wasn't a freak. He wasn't one of the uh, one of the people who have enormous muscles that that stand out in a crowd. Put a suit on him and he looked like any other guy around my height and build. So that's uh, the reason that I mention Bass is because he says don't don't restrict yourself to no no temptation. He 
actually liked ice cream and he used to eat ice cream. So he allowed himself cheats. I think that's, that's what they call it. He, they, he allowed himself to cheat. And he said that if you allow yourself to cheat and don't recriminate and do a guilt trip on yourself, then you won't give up on the diet and you won't give up on eating healthy. If you like this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you again.